to Irish Football Fan TV. Uh, this is our Premier League preview show, so uh, we're just going to get into some of the weekend's action. Uh, starting with Friday Night Football, we have Bournemouth versus Brighton. Uh, Bournemouth have lost their, for their opening games anyway, a uh, heavy defeat against Arsenal. And we have Brighton coming in with a bit of confidence after uh, their 3 1 win over West Brom. Yeah, I don't see where uh, Bournemouth are going wrong. Uh, they, they, they fought smartly enough, like with the foe and that. Uh, Ake, they fought smartly enough. I just don't see. Maybe some things just aren't going right for them at the minute. But uh, I don't I don't see them like being too far down there for too much long. I think the, uh, Bournemouth actually might surprise people this game. But I could see goals in the game. Well, they, well, they got City and Arsenal on the bounce. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they, they are a team that like to set up to play football and you know, that's Arsenal. Arsenal want that all day, you yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, they do your worst. Like yeah. um so uh, yeah, I think I think they will come good. I don't I I, I don't I don't think they'll they'll be hovering above the relegation zone yeah, too I long. Think they, I think they they'll get back up towards mid table. As far as if we're gonna go if if uh, for people out there have been asking us to predict our results, maybe it's for accumulators or whatever, so I will go for a two two draw. Don't ask me, I'm terrible. Well you, um, have, to, you have to give. Oh god. Uh I'm back uh, I'm back in Bournemouth to end the slump. One nil at home. Let's do it. Let's J- Jermaine Defoe for a goal for us. Eddie Howe. Um <laughs> at the back post. Yeah, yeah. He'll run on and he'll run on and finish. Um so we're we'll getting into the Saturday's action, the early kickoff. We have a uh, newly promoted or newly appointed Roy Hodgson's Crystal Palace the versus owl. Southampton. So two two teams who Black are out Hampton. of sorts at the moment uh, I don't see this one being a great great game myself I can see Palace winning that game bit of, um, with a new manager bit of fire uh, they, they were really unlucky last week against uh, who did they play against yeah. again um, and they come back to me now Palace. Uh, Burnley Burnley, Burnley. Uh, uh, yeah no the players the players definitely let the bar down then but uh oh that has draw written all over for me I, I personally I go one one all draw. yeah one off uh, I'm gonna go for one nil Palace. Um, one nil Palace. Here. I just think Hodgson's experience is he's an absolute muppet, but I think he'll, they're due a result, and they haven't got bad players. No, so definitely I not. Think, uh, it'd be int- it'd be an interesting game all the same. Yeah, true. Um, don't back the early kickoff. Right. So next one up, we have uh, West Brom versus West Ham United at the Hawthorns. Uh, obviously, West Ham would be buoyed by their uh, 2-0 victory over Huddersfield. Uh, how do you see this one going? I'm going to go for a West Brom win. I just feel like at home against West Ham, I know they got their, their win the other night, but it was very, very lucky. A very lucky win against... And I mean, they were playing Huddersfield. Not that Huddersfield was bad, because they've been very good since they came up, but... They looked the farm team. I think that... So you, yeah, you're I definitely, saying, you're think, definitely, pit, you're, you think West Brom will be strong enough at home, even after the slip Yeah, up. I could see West Brom be, beating them like 3 now. Do you think West Brom are going to score more than one goal? I think they could, yeah. Wow, see, big climb down. Um, oh, well, you don't have to, you don't have to go. I, I, yeah, I, have, I have a feeling, I think West Brom will be comfortable, maybe 2-1. Yeah, you know, I, I I don't see them being beaten at home West by Ham. West Ham anyway. West so, Ham, really. um, so we move on. Uh, Huddersfield obviously had to slip up. They will be taking on Leicester City, who have been performing, but they just haven't been getting the results. Yeah, uh, that's another one. I'm gonna go uh, uh, Leicester are due a win. Yeah, um, I think so too. I I'm gonna go Leicester. I think uh, Leicester are due a win. I mean, they've they've had a put, uh, tough enough run in the games so far. Leicester have. Mm. Um, much like Everton and so I think I'm going to go for a Leicester win for that game true uh, yeah. what score will I go I'm going to go Jamie Vardy first goal score uh, it's going to be 2-1 and Mares is going to score as well <laughs> I call him Mare, but I got abused for calling him, for not calling him Mares before so. I'm going to go 2-0 Leicester so yeah um, goal scorers let's say Vardy twice um, yeah so we'll move on next one is Liverpool versus Burnley obviously they're looking to get back back on track after a 5 nil drubbing at the hands of uh, Man City. So, what kind of Liverpool are we going to see? Uh, 
I think this would be a, a, a tight enough affair. I think we, uh, Burnley are very, very tight. They set Man. up the first strike. Yes, exactly. Um, with Man, without Man, a Liverpool aren't as uh, much of a uh, dilemma as they think they are. Do you know what I mean? That's a big one, yeah. Mane, Mane gone for three games now. Yeah, so unless players like Firmino and Matt Asala step up their game, um, is Coutinho still injured? Oh, or is he just not getting a look in? I don't know if it's a bit of both. Like yeah, maybe, it's a, really, maybe it's just no a lack. Really confirmed. Maybe it's just a lack of uh, match sharpness. Maybe a Liverpool fan can... Uh, you know, tell us in the comments definitely um, because, uh, we haven't really heard that more about it no other than forgotten figure um, yeah so how are we uh, I, I think I think we're going to see I think we're going to see uh, uh, angry Liverpool come out and I think I think they're going to put Burnley to the you side 3-0 I do 3-0 I think Salah I think Salah has enough pace to penetrate if he just had an end product do you know what I mean which, which I think will come um, I think Firmino, Firmino is good enough to lead the line by himself, so I'm probably going to go 2 or 3 now. Liverpool. That's how I, I am going to go for a 2-1 Liverpool win. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see an Irish player get the score sheet for Burnley. I'm going head over heart here, by the way. True. Grant, so we'll move on to the next one. We have Newcastle versus Stoke uh, in St. James's. Yes, it's an ugly game. Uh, I'm gonna go at St James Park. Is Rafa at home with control again? <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's Man, been he's, he's been, been getting in his uh, he's been getting in his seasons. Yeah. <laughs> but um, What's yeah, no, do again? I, Mitrovic on the corner this time. Well, we have it's a confident Newcastle team. Uh, I don't know. I think Stoke have been playing very well. Yeah, and Chupa Moting will want to continue his uh, goal scoring run. I think he looks a very good player. I feel it coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to see. Uh, I think yeah no I wouldn't like to see it, but I think Stoke will win. Um, I think Hesse might score. He looks he close? looks very good. He's been close. he's been dangerous. He nearly got he nearly got a winner against United anyway. So yeah, I go two two one Stoke Hesse twice. I'm gonna go one nil Stoke. Sure. I think I think someone like Shakiri might even score. Just a worldy for the moment. <laughs> so we'll move on to Watford versus Man City. Uh, City away in this one. Um, obviously we've seen. Watford play some really good, quick, uh, attacking football, and they've looked solid. Uh, Marco Silva has a great team there. Um, I do feel City will have too much for them. I think it could be an, there could be an upset on the cards. I it could, it could I, I be think, one. I think scared. City might drop points. I don't think they might lose, but I think they might take a draw. Points. Yeah, uh, it can depend on kind of what City turns up. I mean, they've been unreal so far, but they always have this little blip around this time. True. Uh, whether it be in the Champions League or the league, they always kind of have a little blip around now after coming out so strongly. So sure. we'll, we'll see. Uh, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go two one City, but I wouldn't be surprised if it end up a one all draw. I think I'm gonna go two 0 City. Uh, Gabby Jesus. So um, we and then just so we don't uh, forget a game. Uh, yeah, sorry. The five thirty kickoff is Spurs versus Swansea. Five thirty. Yeah, guys, American soccer guy. We actually have Canadian fans out there. Please say Oliver Fury. Big up the Maple Leafs. Um, Tottenham Hotspur versus Swansea. I can't see anything other than a comfortable Tottenham win. Three 0 Spurs. Harry Kane hat trick. Yeah, for September yeah. is when he turns it on. So I can't see anything. Actually, three one. Tommy Abraham. I like him. I do like Tommy Abraham, but nah, I, I can't see it. But then again, Spurs, Spurs are fairly, you know, Spurs are, really aren't comfortable at, uh, we are, yeah. But uh, Spurs aren't very comfortable at Wembley, so you never know. Did they not win tonight at Wembley? They did. So, I, I think they'll, they'll get rid of that hoodoo soon enough. True, yeah. And if they do, they'll be, they'll be on course for the league, I, I believe. They look very strong from watching them last week. Sorry, go on. And then we will move on to Super Sunday, and we are in for a feast of football. We have um, the early kickoff, which is Chelsea versus Arsenal. Uh, I do see that right now. Test. We failed the failed the first test. Got humiliated by Liverpool. Um, it's gonna come down to team setup. I I'm not confident. I just don't trust Xhaka. And Ramsey to provide any sort of cover. 
I think if we're gonna have anyone in there, at least Coquelin is gonna track and he's 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 gonna track runners. He's gonna try and get close to Hazard. Um, it's really it's really hard for me not to be negative, but I I can't see anything other than the we Chelsea beat them win. In the cup. We did beat them in the cup. We battered them in the cup. Um, the Charity Shield, obviously, we won on penos. We do have we do have a decent record of late against Chelsea. Um, hopefully, if Lacazette is on form, uh. You know, we yeah, can we can cause them problems. You don't have to worry about um Hazard and Murata and William at the end. Yeah, I think Chelsea team. I think Chelsea are good enough to rip us apart on the counter. And I think that's what Conte is gonna look to do. He's gonna look to soak up the pressure. Mesut Ozil has to step up. Mesut Ozil, this is the game he has Will to Sanchez step up. start? I, I would. I'd start him. Uh, I'd start Sanchez Welbeck and Lacazette. Uh with because with Ozil behind no, Coughlin is mm-hmm. Coughlin did his hamstring in the last game, so he's he's we'll he's done for. Yeah. Yes, nobody else. How much else so, there? Yeah. Wilshere is not going to come in and do anything, is he? No, doesn't look that way anyway. So uh, yeah, I hopefully I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go two all. I'm gonna go two all. Okay. I, I Stamford Bridge. I'd be happy with a point. I think I think point would be a fair enough result. Uh, for you guys, I think Chelsea would be looking down. Chelsea would be looking at the points lower. Yeah. Chelsea would be looking at us thinking, you know, I smell blood. We're here for the day. And, and the way the way, the way way we've set up, I, t- I do really like Kolasinac. I think Kolasinac, he's not going to lie down. Uh, Koscielny, obviously. He's balling in. He's been true enough. Like. Um, I think Monreal is a big weakness. Monreal is a huge weakness at... Uh, that's it, right? Yeah, and Jacka, obviously Jacka had all the time in the world against Barman, so he could pick his pass. But he's always it seems like he's two steps behind everyone else. Yeah, and I just don't think Ramsey's any sort of a defensive midfielder. I think Ramsey yeah. should, should be playing play play where Ozil's sports. playing if he's gonna play. He points out, it's quite smart. He just wanders. Graham Cena points out, he just wanders. Yeah, he's not interested. They're not interested uh, in cover. Their job yeah. is to cover. When the it when looks, the wing backs go forward, the cover should be there, and it's never there. Remain positive. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say, if it was the week before the international break, it would have been a yeah. little bit more easy. And it's um, I'm gonna go for a. Speaking up here, uh, one 0 Chelsea, Morata. Fair. Yeah. No. Like actually, no. Two one. Morata will score, and I think Lacazette will score. Don't give us a pity, though, I dare you. Um, yeah, 2 1 two, Chelsea, yeah. That's the goal difference. To, to be honest, like, you, to be honest I, I can see that. I, I, obviously, I said I'd be happy with a point, 2 all draw. Uh, let's see what happens anyway. Yeah. Let's see what happens anyway. Yeah. Um, I suppose we will move on to the final game. Uh, I'll let you talk a bit about it. So we have uh, Everton away to the mighty Man United. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this game <laughs> at all. We have, I think we've got the fewest amount of Premier League shots in the Premier League. We have not done anything to look convincing whatsoever. All these new signs don't look like setting in. Kuhn doesn't look like he has a formation. You know, you look red hot at the minute. Yeah. They yeah. spanked uh, Basel last night. They did, yeah. Um, got, obviously, they had a little bit of a slip up against Stoke, but Stoke, Stoke have been very good so far so um yeah well um we beat Stoke that's that season as, as we as we said in our uh, Premier League show which you can check out on our YouTube channel. But uh, I believe that we will lose and go and go uh head over half here. Uh, I I I'd love to see us win. Yeah. Or I'd love to even see us get a draw. We have had a tough run of fixtures so far. We played Chelsea, we played the City yeah, and then you know, it's a type of class scores as well. Scores as well, sorry, yeah. Uh, scores from the Sunday like, I do consider the top club now. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I believe that we, I, I think Lukaku will probably come back to haunt us. Do you reckon they'll celebrate? Yes, I do, yeah. I reckon, yeah. I reckon they'll do an Adelaide like, Orange just for you. I don't think he'll, I don't think he'll do it that bad, but I think, <laughs> I, I think, uh, I think he, he, will, he will be kind of trying to annoy the other fans because he did get stick for leaving, which you're going to do either way. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see Rooney being one in the top corner, though. 
that would be I have a feeling it's written in the stars, I think really I get one. Like I, I think it's gonna be comfortable, you know, I'm going three one. Uh just after you said two one, you know, yeah. I, I see you two one raising three. Um I think it's written in the stars for really to score all traffic. So Yeah, well I'm gonna go two one, you know, you think. We'll do one nil the United, then one all and two. I think they'll just have too much for us. Um, yeah, I don't think Kewan has a clue what his first eleven is or what his formation is. He's not less than that one. We've been crying out for John Doplaney to start there. If, if Martinez starts at right back, um you might as well give United the three points. Yeah, if John Doplaney comes in, who knows? He's the captain of the United United Trades. He won the league with them last year. He won many many things with uh, England on the way as yeah. captain. Yeah. So he's got the mentality to come in. Everyone's watching him, so he's, he's just like watching Coleman. So why not why not put him in there? Martina is a good goal for brutal at the back. Uh, I think as I said, we can't come back to Pontus. Although Pontus is out, so that's a bonus. And uh, Paul, I know you love a stat, but a negative stat towards uh, Everton. Um, Jordan Pickford has completed the most passes in the last three Premier League games more than any other Everton player. Uh, can you can you give me, can you can you give me an excuse? I shed some light, yeah. yeah. We've got five players, I just don't know what they're doing up top. And Schneider doesn't look like the player he, he, he was when he first signed. He, he looks like he's gone through the motions since pre season. Yeah, it's, I don't know what it is. His attitude is horrible. No, it's, it's only since pre season. He was really good before that. Uh, Ghana. He seems to have lost it since Scott like, came into the team. So it's just, it's just, a, it's just a mad and jealous. It, it'll come good eventually. You just need to, they just need to find the best of that and go with it. Calvin Hill needs to start this game. He needs to start up top. Yeah, see what he did against Man City. He, he, he tore it there. So if you can bring in that sort of uh, energy and that sort of uh, energy to the team, I think Rooney will try to with a player who's willing to run in behind. Like well, not even that. Someone who's willing to hold the ball and make it stick. Because we can swear it, we just got up and straight back. Yeah. So uh, Sandro, I think he's a he needs a couple of games off to, to think about what he's doing with the ball trial. <laughs> well, uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna go for a two-one. You know, win, unfortunately, uh, it was, I didn't want to do that. But it is what it is. Cool. So uh, yeah, what's your uh, three-one, three-one. Yeah, and with a really goal. So uh, that's been our Premier League preview video. I suppose we've left it all here. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and share. Also, we will have our predictions up on our Facebook page. So, if any of you just want to use this accumulator, because we haven't asked for that. But don't blame us if they're, if they're not. Don't be blaming us. Or do. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care if you win your bets. Yeah. I'm joking. Fuck your bets, yeah? <laughs> Thanks very much for watching our Football Fan TV. We love you guys.